picture of thee. Can I help you? Look, it's a baby. Hi, baby. Hi, I love you. And the Charlie has got something going on in his head. You better not have fleas again or I'm going to have to beat you up or something. I guess it can't be. It's not your fault, but... Hi, baby. Hi, Gwen. Do you want to smile? Do you want to show everybody your smile? She's like, no. I want to hide my face because I'm mad. I'm so mad. Hi, I love you. <laughs> oh, so angry. I don't want to be in here. I just want to get out and be helped by my mommy. Look at these cute pants. They have kitties. I don't know if they really match, if it really goes with the shirt that I'm having her wear with it. But if they don't go with that shirt, I don't have any idea what they go with because there isn't any shirt that has like kitties like that on it. But that shirt says love you or something. I forget. Love something. Something to do with love on it. I just finished putting some laundry away. And uh, we're getting ready to go to Bob Evans. Um... I'm going to eat with Brett's dad and stepmom and I'm pretty darn excited because I love to go out to eat and I haven't been to Bob Evans in a while and I always get breakfast there and just, I love food. <laughs> so excited. Oh, I still have this and stuff over there. So I'm going to get this blanket. <laughs> She's like a little bit right over here. Today she keeps being sad as soon as I walk away. I feel like she wasn't as aware before, or didn't care or something, but today she's like, Mommy's walking away, now I'm sad. So, I mean, I guess it, it's, it's a good feeling that she's sad when I go away, but, um, yeah. My mom called me today, and, uh, she's gonna put Gwen in the baby times, which I had thought about type thing, but I didn't think to ask my mom. I just kind of assumed she'd put it in there. And she had forgotten it until my grandma called her today and asked her if um, she planned on doing it. Anyway, we're going to head out. Toodles. Guys, my husband's been, been, been pretty great. <laughs> so, uh, the last few days, I guess. Um, today's Wednesday. Yeah, it's technically still Wednesday. Time is it? 11.55. It's still Wednesday for five more minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, and it's not huge things, but that's... It doesn't have to be a huge thing in order for... It's an example of, like, it doesn't have to be a huge thing for it to you to do something for your significant other or if you don't have a significant other for you to do for your for your friend like your best friend or any of your friends or somebody in your family <laughs> but in this instance it's my husband um yeah so anyway uh the first thing was monday and i don't think i vlogged at all on monday i went to kenton um but that's when it was going to be Sunday night. I had talked about it. Um, but it ended up being Monday during the day. Uh, well, like Monday morning, Brett drove me to Kenton. And I spent the day with my, with my family, with my mom, and my dad, and my sister came from the town that she lives in to, to my parents' house because she knew I was going to be there with, with Gwen. Um, but I spent the day at my parents' house so Brett could, like, freeze out the house. And he kept the air, or the the heat on in here in the office. Um, but he froze out and he stayed in here, played, he played his game all day. Um, but the rest of the house he froze out and then he turned the heat on, um, when, uh, he left to go pick, before he left to go pick me up. So I guess that alone, um is a good thing that he's kind of doing for me. I mean, he's doing it for all of us because none of us, me or him, or really Gwen, but me or him being aware of it, uh, neither of us want fleas. And so hopefully we're done with the fleas, but that was kind of a thing in its own, um, him taking care of that. But also he drove me to Kenton because the roads weren't great. 
He went all the way there, came back here, froze out the house, and uh, then he went back and picked me back up and took me to my volleyball game that I had Monday night. Um, so, mainly him taking me there and then picking me up, um, and then when he picked me up, he had coffee <laughs> ready for me in one of my, in one of my, uh, I don't know, mug to go cup things that I have. Um, actually my favorite of the two that we have. Um, he had that sitting there, which I thought, like, he doesn't really have, well, he kind of has, like, a cup like that, but he uses, he usually just uses it for water, so, but I saw that mine was there, I was like, well, maybe he just, um, he used mine, because he doesn't really have one, um, so I was like, oh, did you bring some coffee, and he was, or I was like, did you, did you give, get yourself some coffee on the way there, because I, like, picked it up and saw that it was warm and stuff, and he was like, no, I brought you coffee, and I was like, oh, <laughs> so, he, made coffee for me and he didn't know that I had the the pumpkin spice creamer but he put like milk and sugar in there for me and had that sitting in there in the in the car uh got that all ready and stuff before he left the house and drove all the way with that in the car so it wasn't super hot but it was still warm and it was really nice uh, a really nice surprise it was like he didn't have to do that <laughs> It was just super nice of him. Um, so that's the, mainly the first brag I want to do is that he he took me to Kenton, he brought me back, like he didn't make me drive or anything. I mean, not that he would like made me, but uh, because he wanted me to be as safe as possible, he drove me there and picked me up, uh, which is nice. I didn't have to <laughs> drive too, um, but that he cared enough to do that. And he brought me coffee, which I was definitely not expecting him to do, and he definitely didn't have to do in any way, shape, or form, but it was really nice that he did. Um, so that was Monday, and he took me to a volleyball game. Um, and then today, we, uh, where were we, oh, we went to, we went out to eat with his dad and stepmom, and, uh, that went well and stuff, um, his Linda got to, his stepmom got to hold Gwen a bunch. Um, she held him before our food came, and after we were done eating, she held her again. Because um, they don't get to see her a whole lot. They could see her more, we just don't do a whole lot with them. So, like, they live in Marion. Uh, they live in the same town we do. Um, but anyway, we went there, and then we were leaving, and uh, Brett asked if I had ever gotten bread because I was going to get bread. Um, before we got a bunch of snow on Saturday, I went on Friday to the grocery store, and uh, I might put in a picture some at some point um, of what the bread aisle looked like when I went to the store. But it was completely empty, and uh, so I did get bread, but we're on the way home from Paul Bevins tonight, and he was like. Did you ever get bread from the store? And I was like, no. But I have bread if you want to use my bread. And he eats, he eats white bread, doesn't like wheat bread, and I always get wheat bread for myself. Um, but I get him white bread when I get him food. Or get him bread. Um, so I told him I had, and I was like, well, you can eat my bread if you want. And he's like, no, that's gross. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so we went to the store, and I was like, well, if we're going to the store, you might as, we might as well get me some coffee, because I ran out of coffee. I used the last of the coffee today. And so... And then he was going to also get some milk, he said. Um, so he went in, and uh, he did get the bread, and he got me a thing of coffee, well, us, kind of, a big thing of coffee, um, for me to make coffee, and uh, white milk, and a thing of chocolate milk. And then he also, <laughs> and I noticed it before he said anything, but he also got me um, one of those, like, glass, container thingies, like one serving kind of, of um, like the Starbucks Frappuccino drink thing you can get at like Walmart. Um, and I saw that and with the coffee, um, as I like, as I picked it up I think out of the back because he asked me to get the groceries and he got Gwen um, when we got home. And because uh, he had went in, I don't know if I told you, he went into Walmart and I stayed in the car with Gwen when he got the groceries or when he got the few things. Um, 
but uh, he was like, how about you go ahead and put the coffee away or something like that. <laughs> and I knew he was saying that because he wanted me to see the, the drink in there. And uh, I'd already planned on putting the coffee and stuff away. But the fact that he said that, I, I knew that he wanted me to see the thing. And um, Anyway, he's like, yeah, I thought you might like that, blah, 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 for like tomorrow or whenever. And... Um, so he got me that, he got me a, a coffee drink, and because, you know, I didn't know if I even looked at the, it's probably vanilla, but I don't know if I looked at the flavor or not. I don't think it was mocha or whatever it was, but he, he gets me treats. He gets me coffee drinks and treats, and I love him, and we probably didn't need to spend the money on that, but it was really nice of him, and I love him, and he does little... He's done a couple of those two little great things uh, for me this week. And another thing, it wasn't really a thing for me necessarily, but uh, I'm guessing he did it this morning because I don't think he did it late last night. Unless he did it when I was, I don't know, not paying attention or something. But he, not to say text, he called me today. And, uh, well, he had taken yesterday or the day before had taken part of Zena's uh, run, the, thing, the part that hooks to her collar, she, he had un take, he had like used the tool and like taken that off of the, the dog run thing uh, yesterday or the day before because it was frozen shut and so he had to completely unhook it in order to unhook her because he couldn't get it undone. And uh, it had been like that for like a day or two or whatever. Um, but he called me today to tell me that he had hooked it back up, so um, if I wanted to take Xena outside, I could, which I was really glad about because um, I don't want to go out and stand with her for like a half hour for her, to wait for her to poop, and so I just hadn't taken her outside, and she, I think, peed in her cage, and I hate not taking being able to take her outside. Hold on, let me take something real quick. Okay, it's still good. <laughs> My computer isn't plugged in, so I want to make sure it wasn't dying. Um, but anyway, I went out there, and he had put a different thing on there, which I knew he had. It was like a little clip thingy, like a... I don't know. Like the one that you, the hand thing you push down, and it opens up, and you can clip it on. Uh, instead of the screwed type one, the one that you screw. Um, which was much easier and faster to put on, so that was nice. I was able to take her out today. It was it was like forty something degrees, so that was nice. I, she was able to be out for a while until I realized that it was raining and I had to bring her in. But anyway, I just wanted to pr to brag on Brett. I'll probably try to get this video up, but I hope you guys are having a great day and uh, do even small things for the people you care about and learn to recognize when people do even the smallest things for you and make sure that you show them that you appreciate it. Alright, good night.